What's the crack lads? Welcome back to the channel. So today we're going to be taking a look at the new agents. We're going to be giving them a quick little review. Obviously the servers are still down uh, for eFootball, so they should be kicked back on quite soon. It is doing the live update right now, so we are good to go with that. Um, and we're going to get in and just, that was really good timing there. So uh, we're just going to be able to get in and have a look at these players because, yeah, I mean, there are a couple of good players here. Uh, I think obviously Gerard is probably the pick. Obviously, we've got big time Sukovic as well. And there's a lot of new things coming on uh, for the login bonuses and stuff like that. But for this, we have got International Cup players here, uh, player of the week. And we also have the great captains there. So looking at these stats, right, I do think that uh, this guy is going to be an extremely good player. He's got 35 levels to go, which if you look at when you're actually competing against a guy like this, you know that you're going to be getting a really good attacking midfielder. There's a lot of good players in this position, um, but obviously this guy does not have have unwavering form which is a bit of a hit uh instead or a hit and a miss but he has got really nice player skills and i'm impressed enough with his low pass and his balance and his ball control there without even touching his card now we do have him up here on eFootball db he is missing one level because he needs to actually be upgraded a little bit but this is going to be similar to how i would probably train him you're going to be obviously maximizing that dribbling you're going to get that up uh shooting is a car is something that on this card is what you need to be doing if anyone is watching me uh play with dream team chronicles at the moment you'll see the amount of goals i score with finesse shots from neymar from messi outside of the box it's very 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 easy to score goals like that i think this guy's got a good base of pace as well obviously you can decide where you want to put that pace but i would definitely boost up his acceleration a good bit now from there you could decide right that is maybe too much that is too high on finishing you could get away with 88 there and have a couple of more points to mess around with but to me i would probably try and get his dexterity up i don't i'm not too worried about getting that 95 levels but there is one more level for this car to go just needs to be updated here on eFootball db which isn't a big issue um we've also got similarly we've also got park ji sung i definitely think he's a good player but he's not i don't think it's going to be like a must spin uh uh onto park ji sung this guy is again a very very good player you've got a really nice engine on him um he's got the same levels except maybe what three less uh but the thing i like about park obviously is that he can play so many positions he's got a wavering form he's got interception for a left-sided player is going to be incredible he has pinpoint crossing and he has early crosser so i think park could actually be one of the best left midfielders in the game if not kind of left wingers and i'll tell you why right when we go over to eFootball db he has got all those player skills but this is why right you've got 32 levels we got 31 here but we will fix that up when the lads update that it's not going to make a massive difference to his card i would be pumping in a good bit into passing and the reason why is i would be playing this guy as kind of like a box to box um he is a box to box playing style but i would be playing him as a box to box winger you've got 96 stamina 81 speed is perfect his dexterity you get that up to about 84 which is nice for a winger as well or a left-sided player and then the dribbling is very tidy as well you've got eight points to put into that don't need to focus too much on strength what i would do with him if it was me i would train him in two different ways if you are training him as his, as a left midfielder i would definitely pump a couple into his defensive stats to get that aggression up the tackle up so that you can press from the front and have a different option going forward because you can buy a lot of left-sided wingers or a lot of left-sided players that would be dribble centric that would be really fast really pacey really good ball control but for this guy with park i would definitely kind of switch it up a little bit and have him a little bit more defensive now you're going to get one more point into this when you have the training card proper so i would put one more either into passing or into dribbling to get that up but pace everything else defense is a really key one on this player uh, i think if you are using him as that i wouldn't use him as a winger i would use him as a left side of midfielder and maybe put man marking on him so that you can have that added kind of unique play style with him and then last but not least we have a stevie g right so from england 2010 stevie g is in as an epic uh look stevie g you know what you're going to be getting with him we do have his player card here as well uh from the pack he goes to a 97 overall and he's going to have 38 levels so this card here we do need to upgrade it there's only 28 levels on it 
here. Um, so it's not going to be really an accurate uh, way of leveling him up but as with you know with stevie g uh even though we've got 10 more levels to go here i definitely would be focusing on his passing and turning him into the best box to box midfielder that you can do um you know usually the cutoff point i would say for dribbling with a, a center midfielder if you if you're not going to be bringing the ball forward every single game uh with him if you still need that range of passing is to get the pass into about maybe an 85 low pass that's what a center midfielder needs in my opinion get the dexterity up to 75 get the lower body strength and the stamina up to 90 if you can obviously that's going to use a lot of points there um but you just want him to be the engine man now you're going to have a lot of points to mess around with even at that i would put in a couple of more into defense if you're going to be playing him as a goretzka type player that's how i would play him so you i would train him up like this and then obviously with the rest of the points that you're going to be getting with the 10 more levels i would pump it into whatever you want to pump it into so i if it was me i would probably pump in a, a few more into dexterity i'd probably go to maybe like level eight or nine on dexterity and then the rest on to dribbling or passing this is going to be a beastly card man this is going to be a very this could be the Gorotska killer genuinely it is going to be an unbelievable card because of the player skills that you have here and the unwavering form any of the players that have B rating as a legend or an epic player or whatever, big time and unwavering form are going to be up more often than not. And Jared is obviously going to be an unbelievable shooter as well. You can pump in a lot of coins, uh, a lot of points into shooting as well. But yeah, that is it for me, lads. I'll keep it short and sweet. As I said, we do have the other player review to go to as well um, with the player of the week, but we will get to that at a later date. But yeah, hope you guys enjoyed the video. Don't, don't forget to log in and get your free bonus logins as well. That is obviously going to be coming um, today. As you see here, the, the football festival is kicking off. You get your login bonus as normal. You get your special login bonus, which is a free bonus spin at the legend. And then you get to clear all these objectives. I've covered that already in a video. So that is it for me, lads. I will be talking to you quite soon. Peace.